Hello everyone, Foxy here, and welcome back to The Outer Worlds, episode number 9. When we left off, we just exited the geothermal plants and got what we needed. We're one step closer, and I think we may finally have a resolution on our hands. And it starts with making our way back to the deserters to deliver some books, of all things, in order to boost our reputation. It was a good run, that last episode. Found a crazy man. Bob's kind of crazy himself. But now, I think I grow tired of this planet. And I'd like to see something else. Bob's become pretty strong. He took a, uh, a debuff when falling. He's had some uh, bad experiences, we'll say. With falling from great heights. Lots of bones crunching and snapping. And he gained some perk points. He's pretty strong, so... He's gravitated towards big guns, because Bob, big stupid, big guns. And now, we might be getting close. We need to deliver it to a... Who do we need? Thomas. Which, he was over here. I think this is... Thomas, there you are. Good day. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Indeed. Today's your lucky day. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? All of them. I guess we'll just start with one at a time. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Yeah, okay, Thomas. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh. Reputation increase, that's what we want. I've got one more for you. Don't keep me in suspense. The elusive part three. That was an actual pain to get, but I got it. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. Actually, it wasn't even that hard for Bob. Bob kind of steamrolled those robots. It was just way out of the way. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest Excellent XP boost. I've ever seen. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption. Ooh, now. contraptions. Should fit right into your outfit. To my outfit. Alright. Thank you. Revering with the deserters. I am very curious as to what he gave me that fits right into my outfit. So I mean, it's this. Stuns and damages melee attackers. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll probably apply that. Um, what is important? We have 10 perk points available. We can boost our ability to lie. Hmm. Let's boost our guns. And then let's also... We have six points available, yeah. The rest will go into dialogue. No idea what I'm doing, to be honest. Let's hope this works out for Bob. And I'd like to apply that armor mod that he just gave me. Stall mod. Toughened. Okay, I guess. Yeah, this will do. Something. Backpack. We're good on carry weight. Interactable, nah. Tech skills, don't care. Yeah, this is what we wanted. Can we apply multiple mods at once? Doesn't say otherwise. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. And, um... If I repair these, I'll increase their damage. For this one at least, somewhat. I'll repair it. Okay. 
And um, any worthwhile mods? No, I think we're good right now, honestly. Okay. Let's speak with Adelaide. Bob has some convincing to do here. I'm listening. <laughs> this is a Bob thing to say. I have no idea where I am, even though I've been here numerous times. That's not strange at all, dear. Few of us truly know where we are. Well, she's being kind, but Bob is just an idiot. Like a forest without end. And it is all yada yada yada. You must remember that being lost is the first step. Oh wow, thank you. Yeah, whoa, that's deep. <laughs> You almost sound like you've never had anyone ask after your spiritual condition. You Probably not. Thing. Bob not was well? fueled by the fire of Tossball. Watched men and women die. And he remained charismatic, but became a little stupid. Took a little bit of a head injury. Uh... Uh, pod landed not far from here. talking about an escape pod of some sort? I am. Where did you say you were from? Do I lie? Let's just, let's tell the truth. Is that a new settlement of some kind? I haven't kept news from outside the veil. It's a colony ship. Oh, you're talking about that old piece of folklore. Now I'm convinced folklore. You really ought to lay your head down, dear. No, oh, Bob's not being stupid here. Bob's actually speaking facts. Some of my purgative tea. No. What ails you, but it will I'll take it, though. I'm probably a little bit dehydrated. You don't believe me. Maybe I do. I don't know yet. Growing up, I heard my folks talking about the hope. Always believed it was it's true. a story we told ourselves to keep our I'm like the only survivor right now, though. Listen. Don't you worry about what I think. That's not important. Worry about what the board thinks of you going around talking about lost ships from decades That's past. That's true, but I've been talking about it and I haven't, yeah, haven't done anything wrong. Why? You carry on about coming here from another world and people will Fair talk. enough. Talk. Okay. I'm not afraid of the, no board. No, but the board may have reason to fear you. It's just a plank of wood, says Bob. Not quite understanding what a board means. I'm listening. That's all I can say to her? Alright. Um Alright, aren't I revered? I can't pull any cards about, you know. I'm listening. Perhaps trying to convince you to go back into the fold? No, I really can't, huh? I go to Bob's reputation. Yeah, they revere him. 98% positive. I can try to boost morale at Spacer's Choice. Is there, yeah, is there even a single thing we could do here to... Hello? Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. Yeah, Zoe's a liar. What do you saw? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Fiverr. Looks pretty good. It's a special gun. Bob doesn't much care for revolvers, though. Silver tongue kit. Ooh. I have lots of money, and I get a good discount. I'm going to buy that. That'll do for now. Um, there's got to be a way to bring them back into the fold to come up with some sort of peaceful solution. Come on. Keep your wits about you, friend. People. I do not want to doom an entire civilization. Bob is not that kind of guy. Alright. Do I have anything else to do for them? No. 
Let's return to Ludwig. That I botch it now. Let's see if there's anything we could do in Edgewater, I suppose. That could help boost our charisma here. Maybe reach something. I don't know. Oh, man. So, guys, I've been thinking about Starfield. At the time of recording, reviews are just coming in. Early access, I think, is coming at midnight. I'm extremely excited for it. it surprised me it was at 7 out of 10 from IGN. And I think a 7.5 from GameSpot. I didn't really read the reviews too closely, but the numbers themselves I found pretty shocking. Oh, there are people here. Okay. I'm pretty sure I cleared this out in all ongo. Need to heal up. Hold that thought about Starfield for a second. Bob's got some business to take care of. I'll take a toss ball. Oh. Can I take out this ringleader without dying? Yes, it looks like it. Excellent. Yeah, Bob is seriously heavily armored now. Uh, I don't really need that. I got my own. I really thought I went through here. Let's use the uh, old light machine gun. Nice. Yeah, I know I did. Yeah. I looted it. Oh. Kind of sprays everywhere. Come on. Heal up real quick. Forgetting to use my time dilation. There we go. Almost feels like a VATS alternative from a, a modded Fallout, which I am considering doing, but with Starfield coming out and some other video ideas I have, Probably put that one on the back burner. Hope you guys have been enjoying the Skyrim Let's Play. Really enjoy the role-playing experience. But it's nice to come back to this and just talk and relax. Not have to worry about staying in character. Oh, but yeah, Starfield. I wonder what it's going to be like. If you guys get early access, well, by the time this is released, it's going to be well out and you guys should all have had the opportunity to play it. But leave in the comments below your thoughts on it and you will see lots of Starfield content coming out upon release. I'm optimistic. Controversial hot take, but Fallout 76, even on launch, I found enjoyment of it. Definitely not a good game, but just the open worlds they craft. Just excellent. All right, but back to this. Ludwig. Bring us honor, soldier. Mm, yes, Bob reporting for duty. I have a logic module. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh. Yeah, you don't have a uniform. Oh, this is it, then. The key to humanity's but. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but... Thanks. I have no idea what he gave me. Gave, did he give me the shock stick? Looks like it. Thank you. I'll uh, break this down. Yeah. Lovely. Um... 
friendly veering. What does this say? Best employee ever. Nice. Deserves a big bonus and a promotion. Is this stealing? It's all looted anyway. Well, I don't really know what to do. I must be missing some sort of quest or something. Quickly survey this town, try talking to the head honcho here one more time, but I just don't know. I've got some time. Sure. I already talked to you. Uh, hmm. I know I've talked to you. Hey, it's the visitor. Come back for another round. How's your hand? Numb to the bone, thanks to Z. Yep, you're an alcoholic. Uh, cannery worker, Amelia, cannery worker, resident. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually. I do late. not care. Um, okay. Almost lost a finger in the I've done a ton of things for you. My bounty board. That's a good feeling. Yep. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, let's try talking with the old mayor. But I think uh, I just gotta make a decision. There might not be a peaceful resolution to this after all. Hmm. All right, Reed. Tell me you'll let them back Something in. On your mind. I want to Go talk ahead. to you. Adelaide was our only. Yep, she's the flavor specialist. That's not discussing. Alien fish with every meal. That sounds incredible. Every meal? Hold on there, friend. This isn't Byzantium. We eat once a day. In accordance with... Terrible. Go ahead. That you were not... I... Yeah, it's the same thing. Scripture... T yeah. Losing Adelaide was the heart. Spacer's choice, Saltuna, ever since Adam. Yeah, it's, uh, I know this already. Um, anything in my notes? Anything? Tip its power to the plant's output to the beta, depriving again. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I see deliver a message to a woman named Adelaide. Yeah, I just went there. All right, guys, once I get a lead on this, I'll be popping back in. But for now, I'm going to cut. I'll see you all again very soon. All right, everybody. I think the only option is to dilute the power, divert it rather, to Edgewater and then convince them people at Botanical Laboratory and Deserters, Adelaide mostly, to come back to Edgewater. Edgewater sucks. The community's terrible, but it's easily the most defendable location in case of predators, which there appear to be many, including the human marauders. Deserters really don't have that much infrastructure, to be honest. Uh, maybe they can make a botanical outpost, though, to keep that production up. And uh, I think... Perhaps some policy changes could be in place at Edgewater once we bring the deserters back into the fold. But it starts with a leap of faith, so 
Let's begin with redirecting the power to Edgewater. Okay. Now let's go back to the deserters before anything bad happens to them. And try to, well, convince them that dying out in the wilderness is not the way to go. And I will see you guys when we get back there. Here we are, Adelaide. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. No, I'm here to be friendly. Come on. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power. Killing off my garden. Without she would have let me talk to you about maybe coming back to Edgewater. We'll start. Cursed obsidian not giving me the dialogue option. Away from the eyes of my flock. So they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? I like pressing buttons. <laughs> no, let's not piss her off. Reed needs his people back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is okay. your responsibility. Well, I want you to come too. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. All right, I understand. But I can deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? I'm looking for a chance to save as many people as possible. Or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. I'll need to convince him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Starting plague being right literal again. malnourishment. They're just starving. And woman in Edgewater. Yeah, three square meals Tell exactly. I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life. She's a little kooky, to be honest. The secret is human corpses. Ah, there, yep, kooky, as I was saying. My fertilizer for years, marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Ah. Uh... Yeah, what happens when you run out of corpses? Edgewater cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Oh, okay, alright. Uh, you know, I, there are worse things. You don't deserve to, like, die because of that. Alright. Thomas? Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. I know. Time to go back to Edgewater, my guy. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. Nah, you're a great guy. I'm sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. You, well, you learned a lot about engineering. Yeah, you wanted to be an engineer. Let's let's put that skill set to use. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer. Yeah. And I'm on my way to become. Got you all those books. Better put them to use. You do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and. My very own toolbox. It's there you just... go, Thomas. Adeline's never gonna forgive me. Stay put. You gotta try to talk Reed into stepping down. You know where to find me. All right, and let's approach. Grace is the only other important one to speak to, I guess. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. It's really not that dark. Uh, let's go talk to Reed Thompson before I speak with everyone here. Okay. And again, I'll cut until we're at Reed's office. See you all soon. 
All right, everyone, we're back in the elevator in which the secret events all started taking place. Reed, I've come to kick you out of your office. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. Yeah, and the best decision I, here... I have made my share of mistakes, but I have done my best for this town. I know you have, but I think uh, a change of leadership might be what this town needs. I'm not going to tell it a mess. It is a mess, but I'm not going to say it. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice. Man. Yeah, maybe we don't need a spacer's choice man. Like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work. That's that's stupid. It's dumber than Bob. They don't need anything but saltuna here. Of course you're going to get sick. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not... Please a... listen to reason. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna, Camry. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. How ridiculous. Pretty sure it's the food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. It is possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. She found a way to grow food, and she'll come back if you step down. You'll excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Ah, uh, it's a little gross. Yeah, and I'm gonna lie. All I know is that it involves some really complicated math, and uh, it, it works. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, and she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. Thank you. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. She definitely will. This can't be easy for you. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. I know. What are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Yeah. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Go to a town. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Really? Yeah, why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. Don't go outside the walls. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. Well, find a safe place. Spacer's choices and everything. I appreciate your understanding, Reed. And with that, Bob has done it. He's found a way to satisfy the most people and not killing any of them by taking the power core. The only person who I'm concerned about is Reed. But I have a feeling he'll land on his feet somehow. He is the mayor of this town. He's pretty resourceful after all. But now let's go deliver the good news to Adelaide. And I'll see you guys when I make it there. Adelaide, I'm back, and I have good news for you. Look at that. The snake's I'm no back. snake. Just listen to me. You haven't talked him into leaving. You can come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. Yes. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Uh, you guys needed to go back to those walls. I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Uh, it's better with you running the place. You 
telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. I did all this to bring the most amount of people back into the fold and alive. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Take care. All right. I think that was the best solution. Divert it to Edgewater and not bring them back. You kill all this group here, divert it here, you kill all of Edgewater. Kicking Reed out of office, installing her as the new mayor. Reed should be able to survive. He won't be, you know, just fending for himself. He should just go somewhere else. And I can take the regulator now. Thomas? Sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do is all. She's moving back to Edgewater, and you should too. Adelaide said that? Was she sober at the time? I never imagined she'd step foot in Edgewater long as Reed ran the town. Well, he's not running it anymore. Something must have changed in Edgewater. Good. All right. Don't see why Thomas can't just something. I yep, you don't have any dialogue. I know you are supposed to, though, Grace. Never liked Reed much. Yep. Okay. Well, that's it. Oh, there you are, Zoe. Where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. Okay. And now, my work is done. This is still considered stealing, so I guess they'll gather their stuff and head back to Edgewater. A job well done, I say. And I can actually fast travel since it's my ship. Got new logs. My final reputation. Revering. Deserters. Little negative, but eh, they appreciate me. Okay. I'll take it. Back to our ship we go. It's time to finally make it off of this planet. And on to greater and better things. The unreliable. To reset our conquest to greater heights. Ah, hey, you made it. I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. Yeah, maybe I should change I'll the name. Head upstairs and claim a room. Yeah. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. Nah, those are good thoughts, What's honestly. Occupying your thoughts. I don't really care about your story right now. I'll think it over, actually, and get back to you. Sounds like he'll be more of an advisor. And a companion that just stays on the ship. I'll take it. Captain, I miss I Miss Havarti Pavarti. Power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Thank you. Yeah, I invested eight episodes into the t uh, community. Well, nine, including this one. What can I do for you, Captain? But I think we're ready to set sail. I have do a power you regulator. Have to install a power regulator? Uh, not exactly. Installing a power regulator is a simple procedure. Nonetheless, in the event of a catastrophic engine failure... Oh, the mechanic. Where can I find the one? Of Edgewater is oh, okay. <laughs> I think uh, Havarti was that mechanic, and she's dead. So... There you go, I did it myself. Useless computer. Our achievement unlocked. What can I do for you, Captain? I did it myself. I'm not as useless as you say All I was. Systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. Sounds good, Ada. An adequate test of our flight capabilities. Let's get out of here. And that, that, with that, we're off. The town of Edgewater is in a better spot. 
And so are the deserters, I believe. We did well. We did good by this planet. On to the next one. But I think that's where I'll be leaving you guys for now with this episode. A communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Shortly after this dialogue, actually. Uh, nah, this is a good ending point. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye, all.